What's up, beautiful family? I hope that you guys are having a great afternoon. I am in the Lowe's parking lot. I have to run in here to get, or not get, I need to see if they have a certain amount of tile that we need. We're uh, redoing our back bathroom that has been needing to be done for a while. Um, we started renovations on our home uh, two years ago, actually right before um, I got pregnant with our son. And we started renovating and doing different things and we didn't even know what we were getting ourselves into. We should have just left everything alone. Because <laughs> when you start renovating, you just want to keep going and going and going and it, it just gets crazy. But um, we need to get our bathroom done. So I have to go in here and see if we have enough um, or if they have enough boxes for what we need to do. But I wanted to come on here and just chat with you guys for a minute to just give you guys encouragement. Um, you know, I have realized I've only been on YouTube for, um, a year or so, but you know, I have realized that no matter what I do or what I say, um, as long as I am on here on YouTube preaching the truth, there will always be mockers and scoffers that come against us and twist our words and lie on us. And when I told you guys, um, or when I made that video, almost a year ago when I got attacked in my sleep. So the very first time I got attacked in my sleep in a long time was when I had just started my YouTube channel and my husband had just went, went on nights. And so the very first night that he was gone working on nights, I had the worst attack in my sleep that I have ever had. I woke up panicking and uh, took the camera and just started filming and told you guys what happened and that's when I told you guys I went out on the porch and had that anointing of the Holy Spirit come over me I had my very first vision of all of the guardian angels completely guarding my house like circling my house shoulder to shoulder and um, I knew when that attack happened I knew without a doubt that Satan or his minions or whatever the enemy wanted me off YouTube and he was trying to do anything in his power that he could to scare me to hush me up and I knew basically what he was saying is hey you know Chelsea get off of YouTube shut your mouth stop giving the truth and I'll leave you alone like I knew that's what his tactic was and you know I could have just like taken that time to or I could have like taken that whole thing and just you know, allowed the fear to overtake me and just shut my mouth, you know, but I chose to keep going and I chose to go out on my porch that night and rebuke him and pray out loud. And I just remember that night, like praying out loud and rebuking him and praising God and the anointing of the Holy Spirit came over me. And I've been going ever since. And actually after I had um, prayed out there on the porch that night, when I saw the guardian angels, I had not been attacked since until the other night and so I told you guys about that experience because I like to be very transparent with people I like to be very honest because you know it's, that's just me and so we all came in unity and we all prayed against this evil that these witches were trying to unleash when they were practicing that witchcraft and so I called for unity I called for prayer and I know that it upset the enemy because you know, by our prayers, we were able to intervene. He got so mad. He got angry. And so, um, you know, he attacked me. And with all that being said, you know, I realized that the mockers and scoffers, no matter what, will always be out and about. I had just seen a video that was uploaded on two channels and they are now twisting that whole thing that happened and saying, that this was a warning from God, that I'm not in right standings with him. They completely twist what I say and mock and scoff and say that this was a warning from God, that I had this attack or whatever. And not only, not only that, you know, they continue to do this. Like there was a channel just the other day. She uploaded about Chad, our brother Chad from Watchmen on the Wall 88 did this whole spiel and the only true thing that came out of her mouth was the two email exchanges that they had everything else after that was a twisted lie and she implied that they spoke more and she implied that chad was going to come on and make a video and tell all of you guys that 
he was in agreement with her and that he does believe that you can lose your salvation, that he doesn't believe in eternal security. This stuff literally came out of her mouth. And listen, like Chad, Chad is our brother in Christ. Okay. And we talked to him and <laughs> these people are literally lying to you guys. And at this point, I'm just like, you know, um, I think what, where God is kind of like, kind of like brought me and a lot of other people is, you know, these mockers and scoffers are going to continue. And if you're somebody that is being mocked and scoffed, you know, you just have to realize that Jesus said, if they hate you, remember they hated me first. And he said in the last days that this would happen. So we have to expect it. Okay. And this is, all, you know, all these people, uh, this stuff is coming from people that continuously reject the true gospel of grace. Okay. And so I think God is just bringing us to a point where, you know, he's telling us that he's going to deal with it and we need to stop trying to, um, battle with them because at the end of the day, they're going to just keep doing it. But God has already won the battle. And if they continue to choose to do that, to twist and lie on people, that is completely on them. But all I have to say is God's going to deal with it. Okay. And so that's why I'm done. And it, you guys know, like I've always kept my channel very positive and I've uh, picked and choose my battles and only address things here, here or there, but I will not continue to give um, any attention to any mockers and scoffers anymore because, you know, they have an agenda and it's just to cause more division, more doubt, more confusion, more anger. You know, these people say that, oh, well, we love them and we're just trying to give the truth. Well, you know, the same people that say that are on these other channels praising these people for their filthy, disgusting videos. Like the, like the, the channels that had uploaded photos of my past all that time ago, right? These same people that are preaching obedience and we just want people to see the truth and not that we don't believe in obedience. We do believe in obedience. We want to be obedient. We just understand that, you know, salvation is completely different from the sanctification process or, you know, discipleship. These are the same people that are saying you must be obedient to be saved or to keep your salvation. These are the same people that are not being obedient by praising this stuff on other people's channels. And where are the fruits of the spirit? You don't see any grace uh, channels doing that. You don't do that. You don't like these people that were calling my work and exposing where I worked. Okay. These same people that are against eternal security, these people out here, all these mocking and scoffers are under these people's videos, clapping and applauding them for this stuff. Okay. There's something wrong here. So I have just chosen to let it go. This is the last time I'm going to talk about it. And I think that, you know, cause there has been, there's been division within the grace community here recently, you know, I completely believe that we need to have unity and I don't want to see division within the true body of Christ. And, you know, if you believe in Jesus for eternal security alone for your salvation, nothing that you can do, if you put your trust and faith in Jesus alone for your salvation and you have believed on the one true saving gospel and you understand that salvation is completely different from the sanctification process or discipleship. That is what makes us brothers and sisters in Christ and there should not be a uh, division within the body of Christ. The gospel is the plumb line and we will continue to preach the truth but I think it's also very important to make sure that you're giving it with love and with the understanding that you know, we don't change people. We don't, you know, it's not our job to save them. It's not our job to remove that veil off of their eyes. It's not our job to soften their heart. It's not our job to make them see um, or to hear. We are simply vessels being used as a mouthpiece. And we have to understand as the grace community that it's the Holy Spirit's job to move and he's working mightily behind the scenes and you know don't underestimate the power of the holy spirit you know we all are out here trying to force things down things down people's throats to where and i think everybody's kind of been 
guilty of it you know you just you want somebody to believe so bad and so it's like you come across this very aggressive way and you're just like want them to see you want them to believe like you want them to see the truth but no matter how much you shove it down their throat you know it's the holy spirit's job it's god's job to do that work in their life and to change them and to allow them to see so you just keep giving the truth with love always forgive and just show grace you know we talk about grace so much and there's a lot of us that have not been showing grace to people and i think i've been guilty of getting too focused on you know if somebody's teaching something or somebody's saying something on camera oh they said that wrong you know what i mean like getting too caught up in you know picking out the error so you know if you if the holy spirit leads you to show someone where they are in error you know by all means like listen to the holy spirit when he guides you but i think that we just need to extend more grace to people and extend more forgiveness and pray for people i know like that's such people see that as like such a cliche but i have started to realize you know we all know prayer is important but it's extremely important and there's so much power in prayer I mean, we could see it whenever we all came in unity together and prayed over these demonic evil forces that were being unleashed that night. And the enemy came to attack. And, you know, as much as these mockers and scoffers, you know, want to like twist it and say that, oh, that was a warning from God that you're not in right standings with him. I know that I was in right standings with him. I was justified in his eyes when I put my faith in him. I know that I became righteous in the eyes of Christ, justified, made holy, seated in the heavenlies. Now there is no condemnation for me, no sin that happens in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what happens, no matter, no sin can separate me from the love of Christ, okay? So I was justified, justified and made righteous in his eyes when I placed my faith in him. And that happened 20 years ago and I've been very very transparent with you guys all along about how my life has not been perfect and I have backslid um, so many times but God has pulled me back you know so nevertheless I've been saved for 20 years nothing can snatch me from his hands and I understand that as long as we are on here giving the true gospel of grace the gospel of your salvation the gospel the only gospel that saves for you to receive the holy spirit as long as we're on here preaching that they're going to continue to mock and scoff and hate because remember we do not wrestle against flesh and blood so we're not wrestling you know personally against these people we are wrestling behind the demonic spirits um or that are behind these people satan and his demons or whatever hate the truth they have no truth of their own so they have to take the one truth and try to twist it as much as they want you know what i'm saying so you know they can say all they want whatever they want however they want okay but god's going to deal with them i think that god truly just does want us to keep our eyes focused on him extend grace extend love and these people that are continuously rejecting the truth and if you're even somebody like i don't even really have sympathy um anymore for, for people who continue to listen to the garbage and the rubbish okay my advice for people who are just continuing to listen to these lies and stuff you have got to pray for discernment it's the most important thing out there you have to because if you don't have discernment from the lord you're not going to know what is truth and what is not i mean you could see somebody completely twist up something and present you a lie on a silver platter and you like you you would think it's truth because there's no discernment there so all i can say is if you don't want to be deceived by people that are here on youtube you know don't trust in what anybody has to say you take everything to god you ask him for his truth because he is the only truth that there is <laughs> do not lean on man under man's understanding okay there is a spirit out there that is trying to cause right now division and confusion and doubt and anxiety and anger frustration division did i say division <laughs> so you really have to be able to discern what you're hearing so again guys just please extend grace and love 
Don't listen to the naysayers anymore. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep giving the gospel. Guys, we are literally, you can see, we are living in the final moments of the end of days. Um, Satan is literally trying to do anything that he can to distract us and take our focus off of Christ. Um, he's using these people to try to cause division and strife. And he's trying to seriously um, distract us from the truth. Satan knows that his time is short. He knows that the end is near or he knows that the seven year tribulation is near. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a Christian or not. If you're not a Christian, he doesn't want us Christians to be giving the gospel to anybody. He wants us to be focused on each other so that other people cannot get saved. Uh, but if you are a Christian, he wants to distract you and make you doubt and cause confusion so that you cannot be effective for the kingdom, if that makes any sense. I just wanted to like talk about that um, this morning and I am about to run in here to um, see if they have what we need, but I hope that you guys have um, an awesome rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.